If you want to sit outside and not be bothered by bugs, you probably need a pergola or a gazebo. But now that I have this huge patio umbrella, I was thinking maybe I could hack it with this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda out here on my patio, and I've got this huge patio umbrella now. And I was thinking that might give me an opportunity to keep the bugs away and spend some time out here. This is really a problem here in the summer when it's really nice, man. We've got bugs, everything from mosquitoes to ants to bees to moths to giant flying pterodactyls. That was a lie. I made that last one up, but in order to be able to sit out here, especially when the sun goes down. When it starts getting a little dark and a little cooler, the bugs come out in full force. But this umbrella here will spread out to 15 feet. And my table here, which is kind of a normal sized table, you know, probably three feet by five feet-ish. It might be the same for you on your patio table. You know, this is a screen that basically hugs your patio umbrella and hangs down and kind of creates like a impromptu gazebo. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but this is the biggest one I could find. And it's actually supposed to be made for 15 foot patio umbrellas like this one. So I thought we would go ahead and try it out. All right, so the first thing is it comes in this big plastic bag. I'm actually going to hold on to that for storage. It also comes with some instructions here. It looks like it kind of has this rope at the top, which keeps it kind of like a parachute wrapped around the top of the umbrella here. There's a zipper so you can get in and out. And then it looks like you can kind of fill the bottom here. It looks like... It, it almost looks like you're supposed to insert a pool noodle, but it looks like that this is like an inflatable water type piece that you can fill water and that's going to hold it down. So if you live in a windy area or, you know, don't want it swaying back and forth, looks like that's kind of an interesting feature there. So let's go ahead and just open this up. And what I will tell you is that the mesh material here looks kind of like those magnetic screen doors. I mean, it's pretty thin and looks like it's nylon and looks like it should be, you know, weave that it'll keep out bugs so that's pretty promising right there and then at the top i think or i think this is the bottom so it looks like nylon here at the bottom but we'll take a closer look at the end where you're supposed to fill it with water so let's get this thing out all right so up at the top here we do have kind of your standard drawstring so you can kind of tighten this or loosen it up depending on how big your patio umbrella is i'm actually going to leave it pretty loose and then you can see obviously the zipper right there so this is the top piece, and what I think I'm going to try to do here is just drape it over the top here and kind of just kind of brace it up to the top as much as possible. It does come with these little binder clips, so I think I can maybe just hold it up at the top and then spread this out and then remove the binder clip so that it doesn't fall. So that's what I'm going to try to do here at least. Maybe because it's my first time, but it's actually a little difficult to figure out how to get this lady dressed. So the problem here is because this hoop at the top is basically going to be supported or cinched up around the top of the umbrella here. You know, it's going to be inside of the edge of the umbrella there. You have to get the umbrella open and then this around it and there's going to be some sort of balancing act as i open this up and then try to get this around it the other thing i was actually thinking of is getting some of those like paper binder clips and kind of clipping some of these pieces up here to the higher points and then opening this up and then removing those or you know to be honest maybe just leaving them uh I'm not sure how easy it would be to get off. You'd probably need a little step ladder or something like that. But what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to try to open this up and then get this around it and use these cinch straps here to kind of tighten it as much as possible and then keep opening it and loosening it. And hopefully this thing will go up. I've only got one person here to do this and that is this guy. So let's cross my fingers and hope it works. All right, I'm giving you the fisheye lens here. I want to show you what it looks like right now. I've kind of got it half deployed and then, you know, this netting draped around and being supported. It's not super heavy until you get down to the bottom there. So it's just kind of being held on by tension. I definitely tightened up all of these. Got this open so I can get under here to keep cranking the umbrella up and hopefully it'll stay. All right a little further so now i'm going to try to stretch it around this outside here and see if we can get it to a place where i can open this thing up fully Whoo back on fisheye here and i've got it up you can actually see 
where it is hugging the top here, that line as the silhouette is showing through the roof. I've actually gone ahead and taken the uh, cinch strap on both sides. So there's one here and one on that side and tightened up pretty much as much as I can, even though this is the screen for this size umbrella, which I think is like a 14 or 15 foot umbrella. Dude, it's like a pergola in here, man. There's so much room for activities. The other thing I'm actually pretty impressed with is you can see how this side is not touching the ground but I could actually adjust that. I could actually lower the umbrella down just a little bit. I could give out a little more slack from the cinch straps, but otherwise some of the areas are touching. So that's really just a little bit of an adjustment. And the other thing is, it's actually fairly invisible when you're sitting in here. When you are outside, obviously it looks like the thing is draped in a screen, but from the inside, you actually have a really nice view out. Now, you might say, hey, well, Pete, your patio doesn't extend as far out as the screen there. I'm not overly worried about that. And we have lots of bugs. I don't know if you can see them all up there, but man, as I was just coming out here to work, I've got bugs everywhere. So I'm just kind of used to that. The bug that I am really trying to avoid is the mosquito. So like I said, as the sun is going down here, they just start swarming everywhere. But I can sit in here, have a cold brew, a Coors banquet, the banquet of beers, and just sit out here and enjoy kind of the weather as it turns a little bit cooler and is a little more comfortable than it was at the peak of the summer here but yeah you can see bugs all up in there those don't worry me so much come share my table my bug friends and the other thing that i want to show you here which i haven't used and even though it is breezy you can kind of see the bottom dancing here what you might be able to notice is that on the bottom we have these little plugs and so you can actually fill these bottoms with water so it's kind of like a long inner tube and that'll put weight down so that this thing won't fly up now if you have chairs here it's probably just going to kind of stop against the back of the chair so that's kind of nice but if you want the extra weight holding down the edge give yourself a really good seal you know you can do that too so i might just loosen this up a little bit but i am definitely having a beer after this so if you want to pick up a mosquito or bug net for your giant patio table umbrella I think you're going to like this. It's a great way to add something like a gazebo or pergola without the added cost. I'll put a link to this one in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper. We can live better than ever thanks to Peter. Peter Von Panda.